All right, here we go. Frill Jellyfish. Frill Jellyfish is here. Support, all right. She apparently is able to heal after she dies as well. So here we go. And there we go. That is a lot of stuff as well here, guys. Let's give her the promotion as well. Because we're going to have to use her inside of the arena, right? And one ascension. We are able to do one ascension. All right, that is going to be the one here. But let's look at the skill right over here. Frill Snare. It's going to be a 12 second cooldown. That's actually really, really uh, fast. Dang, a lot of these skills that we have gotten, except for Peppermint, at least for Crimson Coral, as well as uh, Frill Jellyfish. I don't know what I'm clicking. 12 second here. We got 12 second here. Uh, Black Lemonade had a 10 second. And now Frill Jellyfish has a 12 second. That's actually pretty, pretty good. All right. Upon using your skill, Frill Jellyfish Cookie ensnares up to five enemies. Targets cookies first with her tentacles, dealing sea foam damage and reducing their attack speed. The targets are inflicted with zap and take increased water type damage. Additionally, Frill Jellyfish Cookie will barrel into the ground and protect herself with a damage resist buff. When Frill Jellyfish Cookie uses her skill, attack speed changes does not affect her actions. And if Frill Jellyfish is defeated, she will dissipate into several little jellyfish who will periodically provide healing for the team. All right, so the snare is going to last a two total of 2.6 seconds. The seafoam damage to ensnared target is going to be 355.1% of attack every 0.5 seconds for 2.6 seconds. I don't know why they came up with the 2.6 and then it's every two, uh, 0.5 seconds. Very interesting uh, number here. Yeah, I don't know where this point six and stuff are coming from all right damage resist wall barreled 42.5 percent that is a that is some insane amount of damage resist that she gets holy 42.5 percent that's almost that that is half of the maximum damage resist you could, you're able to get attack speed minus 99 percent <laughs> for 0 0.7 the attack speed slow for that split second while uh they are ensnared it's going to be 99% reduction. That is crazy. Uh, zap damage. 25.5% damage every 0 0.5 seconds for 2.6 seconds. And it is going to ignore HP shield. Of course, it's going to get rid of HP shield. Water type damage. Uh, They're going to take extra 32.5% for 10 seconds. And the little jellyfish, after she dies, is going to be healing for 11.6% of attack every one second. All right, but because of the fact that uh, she does use something like, uh, you know, a skill where you kind of want to spam it, I think uh, a swift chocolate build is probably going to be the best build for her as well. All right, but here we go. I'm going to use... Uh, Frill Jellyfish alone because she is able to go and attack, right? So here we go. All right, here we go. And of course, she is going to have that attack animation. All right. Uh, 57,000, 56,000. Not, not bad. And here we go. Uh, she does not do anything while she's barreled, though. Uh, so when she's underground, underwater, whatever you want to call it, uh, she is not going to be able to do anything. No skill, no attack, nothing. All right. And she goes down. Boom. All right. Extra water type damage here. And here we go again. And the skill also does not go off of cooldown until she is, uh, you know, out of the uh, barrel. All right. So, um, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty short cooldown again, 12 seconds, and then you have a full, full sort of chocolate with the jelly watch, then it's a total of six seconds cooldown. That is definitely, definitely, definitely very, very short here, guys. All right, this is going to take forever now. Let's just uh, move on to the next. All right, let's do a little comparison, though, of her stats here with um, someone like Peppermint, I guess. So, if we were to use... Uh, just for real jellyfish, you do see that it's a 229,820 HP. And then our defense is 66,000 here. Uh, peppermint, on the other hand, if we can get to Peppermint. Um, peppermint is actually lower uh, than for real jellyfish. 
in defense as well as HP. Even if we do do an ascension. So, her overall stat is not too bad. Alright, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, let's just let's just test her out, I guess. Crimson Coral, we got Fro Jellyfish, we got Sea Fairy, we got Black Pearl and Peppermint here. We might actually be able to just take uh, that out and then we put a... We put a Snapdragon. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Dang, look how slow they are. Because she does have a two second start, she's... If you do use a full swift chocolate, then you're automatically going to be using the skill first. But man, oh, bro. for real jellyfish. Dang, she exploded, bro. Bam. But because, yeah, because of the fact that she's in the middle, right? But the thing is, uh, we do have the jellyfishes healing our cookies right now. Look, look at that. Look at that little jellyfish. Is our sea fairy able to survive? Nope. Ah. Uh, doesn't look like this is going to be the comp though. There was so much stuff going on. But, oh, uh, look at, the damage is actually not too bad here. Uh, but the healing definitely is going to be a lot, lot, lot lower uh, than something like our Snapdragon as well as uh, Peppermint here. Alright, here we go. So, dude, look how fast her cooldown is. That is so fast. Alright. Oh, wow. Look at that. Because of the fact that uh, we don't have the Snapdragon's extra damage resist, against a triple DPS comp, like, our two squishy supports cannot even survive. They absolutely just exploded. Uh, I guess the thing that we got to test out now is uh, something like a T-Knight comp here. Uh, except for uh, maybe instead of Shining Glitter, we're able to use someone like uh, Frill Jellyfish here. That's going to be a really, really good option for players now because of the fact that some player might not have Shining Glitter. And that will allow uh, players to utilize a comp like this. Right, and the attack speed slow will definitely, definitely, definitely be really useful here. All right, so let's try this team out real quick. All right, let's see this real quick. So she's gonna use skill. They they're super slowed. Black lemonade uh, did use the skill. All right. Wow, they just exploded. Look how slow starters just gets. Oh my goodness. To be honest, I think this is better than Shining Glitter's comp. Like, instead of Glitter and using Frill Jellyfish, I think it's even better because of the slow. Like, yeah, the zap damage is there with Shining Glitter, but with Frill Jellyfish, like, the slow, the 99% slow for that even slight 0.7 seconds, is actually so, so, so useful because it allows all the cookies to utilize their skills. All right, here we go. Because the 99% I think the 99% slow and then use Mango transition right to Sea Fairy might be the best option. But wow. Yo, where did their cookies go? Oh my lordy. Just vanished. Oh my. Wow, that, that was pretty crazy. The reason why I'm using Sea Fairy instead of Black Pearl for anybody asking is because of this. The extra water type damage, Furl Jellyfish also allows extra water type damage, uh, you know, to be dealt to the enemies as well, right? So we're using, we're using the water type damage. Crimson Coral also increases water type damage. Uh, Mango has a water type damage, right? So that's the reason why we're trying this out here, guys. All right, here we go, guys. So we're going to see the Frill Jellyfish. And then we're going to see uh, the Sorbet Dive. Uh, yo, that was so fast that they just they just absolutely just vanished. I, I don't even know where they just, they, where they gone. What, what happened? 
Yo, that damage on that Crimson Coral, even before the one minute mark, is absolutely bonkers, dude. Holy. Oh my goodness. Yo, the damage from our sword. Bay. The Peppermint just vanished. The Peppermint literally did not even get to use the skill. Like, literally, just boom, gone. Absolutely just just one-shotted what is that so first of all i just want to kind of do a uh, quick you know conclusion with frill jellyfish all right um of course we do need more testing and we do need like specific teams to be uh, coming out and such but because of the fact that the uh you know teams are revolving around either right now sea fairy for the top rankers a lot of the top rankers are actually using sea fairy with the uh you know higher level crystal jam as well as a lot of other people right uh the rest of the group are using black pearl with the crystal jam uh both of them utilizes water damage right because of that fact and and also because we do have crimson coral now uh and because we now have sorbet just doing absolutely insane damage the 99 percent attack speed slow and the ensnare is actually really really useful along with the extra damage that they're able to you know make the other cookies take the 32.5 percent extra water type damage as well as getting rid of the hp shield allows frill jellyfish to become a really offensive support and the additional like healing this thing is just add a bonus like it's not going to do a ton of healing uh, it's just an added bonus uh, but yeah it just allows you guys to uh use a cookie that actually is able to do something right uh rather than just kind of be in the back you know hoping that you do some rng and then you do extra healing uh just give a little bit of extra buff here and there this makes it more of you know uh you have a synergy that really really works out well all right so i think uh, with crimson coral with black pearl with Sea Fairy with Sorbet Magic Candy now, Frill Jellyfish definitely does work out really well. Uh, of course, again, we'll need to have more testing done to find out specific teams, but as of what we have seen so far working with Sorbet, working with other cookies, Frill Jellyfish is going to definitely work. Uh, she definitely is squishy, but Full Surf Chocolate as right now is going to be my uh, recommendation. Maybe we might see some, you know, Full Saiyan Raspberry or even some full uh, almond as well in the future.